What's up, guys? Uh, we have a little bit of an update. Now, again, take everything I say with a grain of salt because it's not official. I'm not official. I'm just a guy like you uh, who talks to a lot more people, I guess. So I was going through my future evolution stuff today. Every morning I like to wake up, drink some coffee, look at it, and I saw a couple of interesting things. One was an article on MMORPG with a little bit more detail than we've heard before. And the second was an update from a phone I have registered in another country. Now, the country this phone's registered to doesn't really matter, but I got a little beep, 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 and it told me that I could download the Marvel Future Revolution APK Android uh, right now. Not be able to play it necessarily, but I could definitely download the application. So I did. But instead of downloading the application on my phone, just in case it was a hoax or something, I did it in Bluestacks. Links in the description below. You can use the uh, device on your computer. Basically, that's all Bluestacks is. It's a way to play games on your computer. If you didn't know, if you knew, who cares? Um, basically, I went through uh, APK Pure, one of the sites I talked about previously, and I noticed that Marvel Future Evolution had a download APK file. Um, again, this is not official. It's not from one of the officially launched stores. Uh, this is what's called a side load. Uh, you would be able to put it on your device by downloading it um, directly or downloading the file and dragging it or installing it on your own. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, by all means, don't. <laughs> You don't have to, and also, you'll see why it's not that important right now. But for those who are familiar with how to utilize this, or if you have access to Bluestacks, where you don't really care if it ruins anything, because you could just shut it down and start a new Bluestacks client up, uh, this is the information. Uh, there's nothing really that you'd see here except for the official notification, uh, how big it is, the minimum, the recommended devices official websites blah 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 you get it right uh but then has a nice little format looks official right looks similar to how most of netmarble stuff looks on its own the marvel symbol the netmarble logo and then originally a generic logo and then as it updates it gets more and more stuff so let's see what happens when you click it Nothing. Something. Ta-da! We get the Netmarble loading. We get the Marvel logo. We're going to get the Unreal logo in a second. Or we were going to get the Unreal logo. And we get this notification. Soft launch is approaching. Please log in after soft launch on June 30th, midnight. UTC 5, which I believe is Eastern Time. So, okay. Interesting. The game APK is out, but the servers are not online yet. Interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens if I click C Forum. Notice, it should open. There is no data. Um, which is now leading me to believe, especially since this is an official Netmarble site, uh, that this is a legitimate APK, um, and the graphics are reasonable. Now, if you close out, you get this. Cannot access from your country currently. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait for the official launch. I cannot tell you whether or not this is going to uh, permeate into the date we just saw, June 30th at midnight. Eastern time, I can't tell you that. Uh, it might only allow IP addresses from specific countries access. If that's the case, you better believe I'm gonna do a video telling you how to pretend you're in a different country just to create your account. But either way, uh, this is an official notice. So this doesn't necessarily, and this looks very similar to some other Netmarble content. So I'm going to go on a limb and say, and not only do I trust that this file is the official APK, even though I got it through unofficial means, 
I'm going to go ahead and assume that everything we've seen in this is accurate. Uh, and I think we'll find out more about that on the 29th or later today uh, during their live event. So I don't know generally how you guys experience soft launches or betas or whatever you want to call them. Uh, in the industry, we don't call betas betas, but the gaming community does. I generally call them the same. Basically, it comes down to one thing. If I can buy stuff, it's not a beta. If I can give them money, it's not a beta. It's a soft launch, no matter what anyone calls it. Marvel Strike Force had a soft launch. Everyone called it a beta. It's just easier. Honestly, it comes down to syllables. Betas are, generally speaking, a simpler term. So either way, this game seems... Now, we, to get that to pop back up... I have to reload it. This game seems ready to soft launch, early access, beta, whatever you want to call it, June 30th at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Or, uh, from the time of this video, as you can see right here, 1239, uh, about 36 hours from now. <laughs> so, tonight, I'm going to be looking at what they have to do in their announcement. I'll do a, another live reaction video to that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll be up at midnight just to see if I have access, and if I don't, <laughs> we'll be trying harder on this. Uh, so it does appear that we have an official start date for this game, uh, at least a soft launch, June 30th. That's the big takeaway from this. Uh, if you are interested in trying, again, a link to Bluestacks is below. You can go ahead and click on that, install it on your computer, and with any luck, uh, be able to download this. Or if you're a rogue or a renegade and want to just try to download anything you want into your phone itself, your Android phone, you're welcome to. But for iPhone users, you're probably going to end up wanting to use Bluestacks or something like it. Um, the APK link I have got from APK Pure. I tried tap tap. It wasn't available yet. Uh, but APK Pure... Just to type it up for you. Right here. Google search. APK Pure. Done. Then I searched. Just giving you everything I did. And it was the first option. Clicked on it. Click download. It downloads the file. See? Already exists. Good to go. Installed the file. Now, sometimes you might have to tweak your phone. I'm not your IT guy. I'm not going to go through the steps on how to make your phone eligible for this. I already did. It's called Download Blue Stacks. It's already built in. Um, if you feel comfortable doing it on your own, you're welcome to it. I'm not taking responsibility for it. But that's how to get the app on your phone. Now, if there's any problems with the app, if there's any problems with the download, if there's any problems with this, again, it sucks right i can't i can't help you i'm not the guy to help you here i'm just here to tell you that this is the information and the biggest takeaway information i've gotten is that june 30th at midnight we're going to be able to play the game and by we i mean some number of people because soft launch is approaching now again full disclaimer this could absolutely be a hoax right someone could have gone through this much effort to create this much detailed APK with all of the loadings, with all of the files, have the APK be a larger size just because someone could have made this up, right? But do you think that's true? And even if they made it up, what are you out? You know, especially if you go through this method, you're out, what, an hour of time and a little bit of hype? I'm going to tend to believe it. Uh, maybe you guys will comment below. Let me know if you've already done this, if you're interested in it, if you think it's a sham. Either way, we're going to find out in... I don't have a watch on. I don't know why I looked at my wrist. Anyway, guys, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangili, and I'll get you more information later.